Right, today I'm going to show you how to use the brush tool to add whimsical brush strokes to your photographs in the style of Andrea Robescu. If you don't know who she is, you need to Google her right now. Uh, she does this kind of stuff. It is amazing. Okay, now I did a bit of a Google image search for Andrea Robescu and I've got it ready because I'm going to use it um, to help me give me ideas whilst I'm editing my photographs. You only really need to use the brush tool for this tutorial. Down the side, choose your brush tool and you can set the brush tool's colours and size by going down here. So there's the brush tool's colour. I can change that to any colour I like. So I'm going to click on it, maybe a pinky colour. You can make it a lighter pink, you can make it a darker pink. Drag it about, I'm going to press OK. You can set the size of the brush tool from up here. Um, if I just tinker with that size and put it on, you can see there's, it's only very small that still. So I'm just going to drag it a bit further on. Can you see that the circle's gone a little bit bigger? There are different techniques, like different sort of features that you can choose in here. I'm just going to use the sort of solid round one for this particular image. So on my image, I'm going to start drawing some brush strokes that look like it's colourful water coming down from that tap. Okay, I'm happy with that one now. I've added some very similar Andrea Robescu style whimsical brush strokes to my tap. Um, I'm going to have a little go with another one now. For this one though, I'm going to add an adjustment layer. And if I add an adjustment layer, I'm going to have to do something quite particular to the image in order for it to allow me to draw on, again, with my whimsical brush strokes. Um, what I'm going to do to this image is I'm going to make it a bit brighter because at the minute that background's supposed to be white and it's not. So down the bottom here where I've got my adjustment layers, I'm going to click on the adjustment layers, I'm going to choose brightness contrast and I'm going to just drag up the brightness and drag up the contrast a little bit and you can see there that it's instantly started to look a little bit brighter. But if I start drawing on it, can you see it's telling me layer is not editable, layer is not editable, doesn't like it. It doesn't like it when I'm trying to put a brush stroke onto that now. Okay, so what I have to do is go into my layer tool at the top, go down to the bottom there and click on flatten image. And what that does is it squashes down that adjustment layer onto the background so it's now become one image. Okay, I can draw on that now. Okay, at this stage, I'm going to paint over my top. So what I've done, just to show you that, is I've clicked on the colour tool down the bottom here. And instead of choosing a blue from these options, I have put my cursor onto my blue hoodie. And I've clicked on an area of the blue hoodie and it has chosen that exact colour blue. Okay, I'm happy with that one now. So that's done. I've coloured in my arm. I've got some beautiful clothing on the coat hanger. The last one I'm going to do is my face. Now this one is where I really want to make it look like an Andrea Robescu image. I'm going to pick out lots of different features of her work. Um, there's there's um, patterns around the eyes and the lips. There's a lot of flowers are um, prevalent in her work. Swirly lines, dots, um, writing, scribbles. I'm going to really give it my best shot. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I think I think you could easily overdo it. I almost overdone it there. What I tried to do though was layer it up, get some background brush strokes in, big ones, and then layer it up with different um, patterns on top. And if I had more time, I'd maybe even go into more intricate detail with some more of these little dots. Angie Rubesco, she does lots of intricate detail. I love the writing that she does. Um, you could make some really quite powerful slogans and messages on top of your work um, by using that to create some text that goes around your objects. Right, just really quickly I want to show you how to use the brush tool on your mobile phone. So I've opened up one of the pictures that I wanted to use to add illustrations to. Down the left hand side are all your tools. You need to click on the brush tool, which is just in the middle. 
I then want to select the colour of it. At the minute, the colour is set to black. You can maybe just about see that. If I tap it and choose a different colour, you should see that it's now gone to red. So I've now selected a red colour. I can go up to the top where the little brush tool icon is, just under the file, just under the edit, you can see number 15. Click on the little arrow and that's where you can change the size. Click off it and then it gets rid of it. And then you can start adding different brush strokes to your work okay you can make it a bit bigger and you can draw lots of bigger ones essentially as long as you know how to use the brush tool on your phone you can follow the rest of my video from the beginning okay have fun